the gym, but today it's cheap. Today's a chill day. I'm about to show y'all these workouts. Well, I'm about to just show y'all this part. I'm gonna do some stuff on camera. Get that footage time, man. I'm about to get started. Bobby Johnson. workouts I did like really didn't do that much sauna hit him a little heavy so that's a good thing about to go ahead and enjoy this and I'm gonna catch y'all next clip last man standing sauna wars Sipping on that lemon water, bro. Let's get you right. Catch y'all later. I'm the best. I'm the best. Ever do it. I'm the best. I'm the hungriest. I'm the strongest. I'm the best. This is my mirror right now. I'm not looking at it as no camera. This is my mirror right now. We chilling today. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not going to really record nothing. I'm chilling today. But I'm the best, though. Keep that thought up there, bro. Shit get hard. Shit going to get tough up here, bro. But stay 10 toes down. Don't stress about nothing. Things going to go your way eventually, bro. If you forcing the algorithm, you forcing everything, things going to have to go your way eventually. Stop stressing. Keep working. In the field, whipping up. I would just do some game review, seeing where I'm, how my videos is looking, and I'm giving myself some personal tips. But fuck that. You don't care about none of that shit, bro. I'm about to shoot you. So, Pop got the burgers on the way. All right. So, why you making some burgers today? And then also, man, the nigga, my back is like. It's like dumb sore, fam. Like, I did like these lat pull downs right here. You know how the thing you use for your triceps? You do this for your triceps. I use that on the pull downs, bro. I woke up this morning, bro. Man, I feel like somebody kicked the fuck out my back. And yeah, now I'm like, oh, man. So now I got to eat the re rebuild them, them muscles. I ripped the tear back there. So now I got to rebuild those. Man, try to tell y'all, getting bigger. And the nigga was cleaning all day too today, so that didn't make that ain't help not once. I got my backfield, that didn't help not once. But I'm gonna catch y'all 
when the, the stuff get here so I can start making the burgers. I'm going to get y'all a little bit of clips and all that. Boom, boom, boom. What I do, whatever. But make sure y'all niggas subscribe Look, right now. I know I keep saying this. Like, why you keep saying this every five, six? Because, bro, we on the road to something special, bro. We're going to do something that nobody never did in a while, which is keep grinding and working every day until we get the milestones. And even when we get the milestones, we're going to work even harder. And I promise y'all one thing, and I'm going to hold on to it because I'm a man. When we hit a thousand subscribers, I'm uploading two videos a day, every single day. God! I promise. You feel me? But I need to, I need to see the, I need to see the thousand on there. If I don't see the four digits on there, I can't help y'all. You feel me? For right now, we're going to do day to by day grind. All that. Day by day grind. But as soon as we hit a thousand, two videos. We'll do two videos a day. Two thousand. We're going to do three videos a day. 4,000, we're going to do four videos a day. 4,000. Uh, you see how you see how I'm playing right there. So in that 2K, that 3K, yeah. But I got to see the results first, though, bro. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to see me work harder. You feel me? You want to see me put my whole life on the internet type shit? <laughs> and I'm going to just catch up when the burgers get here and when I start cooking that. I'm about to smack these pancakes. Yeah. Got me the pancake stack right here. I'm about to kill this. <sighs> yeah, I'm just about to kill this shit. Boom. Easiest book in the trick right here. Easiest book in the trick. Easiest trick in the book right here. Boom. Yeah, what's that? Eight burgers in each. That's 16 burgers right there. Go ahead and start doing the burgers. Got the got the frozen fries. Put the fries in the air fryer. Put some oil. Boom, boom, boom. They're going to get seasoned too. Boom. Easy. Got the cheese right here. I'm going to put eight with cheese. And leave eight plain because we got 16 burgers. Now I'll put them all with cheese. Feel me? Got the pan fried burgers going four at a time. We got eight more after we're done with this right here. Boom. These ones with cheese. These four right here are gonna be with cheese. These are already cheese. And then that's it with the cheese. We're gonna do regular burgers. Most likely, since we got a lot of this left over, I might I might fuck around and dip these in barbecue. These ones right here. I might just dip them in barbecue. The regular ones. Feel me? And the fries right here. These right here are still kind of like, they barely done. I'm going to put these back in the air fryer after these is done. After this batch is done. I'm going to put the ones back in the air fryer. Because, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody getting sick and shit. Keep it real with y'all, bro. Cooking is a skill, bro. You either got it or you don't. What I say about why I say that, right? The reason why I'm saying that is because cooking is about the IQ, bro. Because you're gonna have like 50 million things go on while you're cooking, bro. You either have it or you don't. You feel me? Ain't no contemplating and complaining because it's gonna be harsh. Niggas gonna say, Yo, shit, trash. You're gonna be sitting there just looking stuck, looking stupid. And what I tell people all the time is, I make cooking for me, bro. I don't make it how you like it. It's just supposing that you like my shit. You feel me? I make cooking how I like it, bro. So I make my burgers a certain way. I make my, my fries a certain way. Like, with the frozen fries, I'm pretty sure everybody does this. In my eyes, everybody does it because I do. Like, with the fries and shit. With the frozen fries, nigga. But nigga, I, I put seasoning on them bitches. You feel me? And I put a little bit more oil in there to get that crispier texture. I do that shit. I ain't recommend nobody else do that. But... If I'm cooking a meal for everybody, I'm going to cook it how I like it. And 9 times out of 10, everybody likes it because I know what I'm doing. I got the IQ in the kitchen. Because a lot of million things going on wrong. And then it's that one motherfucker in the back. You just can't cook. Shut the fuck up and show a nigga how to cook. That's when I'm on. Bro. If somebody fucking up or something, show them how to do it. Then they'll be like, all right, next time when I make these, boom, 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 it's going to be cracking. Look at the burgers right now. <coughs> Bless me. This the uh, new batch right here. We got eight more to go. The burger's cooking quick, but I always keep them on there a little longer. And then right before I put the cheese on it, it's the best tip. Y'all should, everybody, I feel like everybody should do this tip right here. All right, so when, so when you about to put cheese on a burger, <coughs> that's the seasoning. If you ain't, if ain't, if you ain't sneezing, then it ain't seasoned type shit. Gah! So, best tip I could give anybody. But when you about to put the cheese on top of it, right? You about to put the cheese on top of it? Bro. Poke holes into the meat, like pierce it straight through. 
because it might not be, you're not gonna be 100% sure. <coughs> Bless me again. But what I was about to say, you're not about to be 100% sure if it's fully, fully cooked, right? So this is the best tip I give anybody because it's gonna still cook. A lot of people don't know this, a lot of cookers don't know this. I mean, a lot of non cookers don't know this. It's still gonna be cooking when you take it off the thing. So say your burger not fully cooked, right? But you got five burgers in the pan and the, all f the four of them is cool and you decide not to check that last one. The reason why you need to poke holes in all of them, just in case one of the burgers not all the way cooked and they be cooking while you take it off, all right? Especially when you put cheese on top of it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to close that hole up, you feel me? It's going to close that, that, that texture up. So poke holes in it before you put cheese on top of it. That's my best advice when you're cooking like meats like that you got to put cheese on top of. And you're not gonna be a million percent sure that it's gonna be fully, fully cooked. So that's the best advice right there. My mom keep reminding me that she got this little phone holder thing, but look. Mind see what one of these one of these burgers hit for. Alright. Nothing on there. I ain't putting nothing on there. That's why I'm showing you orders. You ready? Burger just a regular burger. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, it's a regular burger. Uh, cook, cook perfectly. Cheese, nice and melted. Got the juicy texture to it. I get this burger like a good seven. Burger right here, good seven to me. And when I tell people all the time, which I probably didn't hear me say this in a while, in a while on this channel, you're not supposed to eat ten out of tens every day because you're gonna get tired of ten out of ten every day. So people that eat Chick Fil A every day, the taste buds is fucked. Because you try any home cooking, it's going to taste absolutely terrible, and you're going to despise it forever. That's why you don't eat 10s out of 10s every day. Five guys, you don't eat five guys every day. That's like a that's like a thing you eat once in a while to cherish, you feel me? So, it's a seven. I eat a seven burger. Home, I eat a seven out of 10 rated home cooked burger every single day. I eat this every day. Cook, nice, juicy. I want my eating this shit. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna finish cooking that food. Catch y'all later. While we got my food. Large burgers right here cooking. Made these to barbecue. Them just plain cheese. Fries right here. They almost done. Last batch of the fries too. Her plate. He on the stairs crying. Yeah. So what I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just probably catch y'all. I'm gonna just catch y'all when I'm done with this. Then I'm gonna try the barbecue one. That's the only one I haven't tried. Got the burgers, the cheeseburgers, and the barbecue burgers on the deck. Got pan fried, not grilled. Got the French fries right here. These the frozen ones. Put some seasoning on them. Put them in the air fryer. Boom. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I'm about to try the barbecue burger right now. Only got it on one bug, so I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to consume too much, too much bread. But look, I'm about to go ahead and try.
I'll get this one right here at eight. The regular one with cheese is seven. I like the one barbecue way better. Tastes way better. Nice. Nice, good texture. They're frozen fries. All you gotta do is heat them up. I get them like a. I give them a. Oh, shit. I get these motherfuckers like a sex. I'm about to die. I'm gone. Like, comment, subscribe if you know. I think I went away for a second. 70% not subscribed, 100% is subscribed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. More content on the way, more bacon on the way. And God, out the cut. Nigga, I ain't forget my outro. I ain't saying it in a way. I might start saying my intro and my outro in every video <sighs> coming back. Feel me? Go. I ain't just never seen nobody do this straight up, though, bro. Somebody <laughs> get five dollars. I'm stopping to get very. Yo, people are walking. <laughs> Nobody do that shit so straight up. <laughs> bro, this nigga is some true NPC, bro. He's the funniest nigga of the year for that shit. <laughs> I'm about to chew. I'm about to chew. I'm about to chew. <laughs> Calm down, bro. Let me calm down. That shit is too fucking funny. Oh, shit. <sighs> oh.